Hi everyone, welcome back to Bukio TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the bell notification on. So anytime we upload new video onto YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you. Before Nigeria independence in 1960 allows or permitted the Yoruba to have their own constitution. And in our constitution, non-Yoruba cannot vote. So Igbo has no right to vote. They come into our space and be voting for the Libra. We don't want that. So that was why the Yoruba APC came up with the, a crude idea of denying them ballot paper and burning their vote, which is reasonable because we are practicing unity system. Under regional government, the Yoruba APC will not go to such an extent. It will be, it will be in our constitution that the Igbo cannot vote. We do not decide the election in Igbo land. The Yoruba people are not voting in Igbo land. For every one million Igbo living in Yoruba land, you can hardly find 100 Yoruba living in Igbo land. 100 to 1 million. So we do not decide the election. So why should they put in government people that we do not like? Nobody likes Jimmy Abadie. He's an idiot man. He's pandering to the Igbo. But the Igbo are saying that they want to vote for him. Somebody we do not like. You understand? So that was why the Yoruba APC adopted a crude system. But under regional government that was suspended by the Igbo, you will not vote. Igbo, I'm challenging you. You see, God always raised a generation that is very ruthless. But I don't think you who are Christian, I'm not a Christian by the way, but I go to church. I'm an Orisha Adyan. Go and read your Bible very well. When a nation has been pushed, study the Israelites. When a nation has been pushed, push, push to the wall, a generation will just spring up that will be so ruthless. You will see how we're going to slaughter Igbo across your balance. It will happen, but you don't believe that. You know, Igbo, you've been saying that you have weapons, you have guns, you have used this, you've done that. Go and read my response to OPC this morning. I laughed out at them, and I sent that response to the office of Ariana Kakafu. And they have responded to me. The message is here. They said that they will change the orientation, that they are sorry. They are denying the guy, saying it's not the, it's not part of their own OPC. I brushed them off. Can I go and kill somebody in England? I will spend the rest of my life in prison in England and kill an English guy. Yoruba, you are crazy. Where should you have? My whole elder brother was shot and killed in Yoruba land. He wasn't living in Igbo land. He wasn't living in Agusa Pulanila. Where is our ancestral home? Is it not in Yoruba land? My brother left the house. Three foreigners shot and killed my brother. In your land, you idiot people. So that is the stupid statement issued by the OPC under the office of Ariana Nakanfu, denying the guy that is not part of is not part of their own OPC system. I said they are crazy. This guy is a Yoruba man, and you are kill, you are allowing him to be killed, to be lynched by foreigners, immigrants. Did we colonize the Igbo? Who destroyed Nigeria? Wasn't it the Igbo who suspended the regional government? Every time they will continue to blame the English. The English gave us one of the best political structure in a multicultural country called parliamentary system along with the government. Idiot. My own elder brother left his house and was killed by three foreigners, two Ausa Fulani and one Igbo. Police officer, we give our enemies guns to control us. Idiot. Is that how the English are giving us guns to control them in England? Can the English allow Scottish to control them in England? Hopeless people. All of you Yoruba who are living abroad, tell me, those of you who are living in America, do you do this? Do you have the same right and privileges as the Kakusians in America, the white America? Do you have that such right? Can you get a better job? What is the job you are doing? Is it not security guard? Is it not cleaning job that you are doing? Is it not shit job that you are doing? Are you telling me that the English will give priority to you, Yoruba, over their own children in England? Horrible people. A man was lynched and killed to the presence of the world in daylight, being alleged to have stolen a ballot box. There was no evidence of any ballot box when he was lynched. And many immigrants, foreigners, let me go and ordinary that I walk down to a police station to report a case so for, pol for police to help me in England. The stupid police beat the hell out of me and dumped me in prison. The stupid police in England. Because I'm not English. If I were to be English, they would never treat me like that. So where do you think Yoruba will have their own freedom, liberty in our space? But in our space, Igbo have that temerity. They have that infantry to assault the head of the OPC in Okota 
and you are not killing them. I've said something to you, Ibo. We will kill you. This generation is very, very wicked. But you don't know. We will slaughter you like animals. Go and call the international community. If for 53 years, the Yoruba nations, our grandparents, we have asked for simple things. Let us go back to regional government. Simple. Ibo, remain in your space. We stay in our space. Why do I have to get a visa to come and live in England? Why do I have to wait for seven years with my children and a sick child before I can get my stay in England? Why? Why is it that the English will tell me that I can only work as security guard? I can only do cleaning job. I can only work in their supermarket with a master's degree in economics. Why? It is because this is not my country. The English are not racist. Yoruba land does not belong to the evil. It belongs to the Yoruba people. And we have rights and privileges more than anybody. I cannot have that right and privileges in England. I cannot have that right and privileges in France in Germany or in America because this is, these places are not my ancestral homeland. Stupid people. Evil are moving into our space, unregulated. They moved in every day. The governor of Lagos State said that 87 Igbos move every one hour into Yoruba land. 87. And they are coming straight to Lagos. How many Yoruba are moving to Igbo land? Are we deciding their elections in Igbo land? Are we the one deciding their election? Evil, there will be revenge. I'm, I'm telling you, we're going to slaughter you. You know, you've been seen. I am an Orisha Adherent. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. You understand? Orisha Adherent, that is who you are seeing. We will take revenge. We don't believe in the stupid teaching that you kill us and we keep quiet. You cannot kill white Americans like that. And I've said this to you. Have you ever seen terrorists take hostages of black Americans? Have you ever seen terrorists? No. They will not take African American as hostages because their life is fucking worthless. That is the honest truth. But if they take one day hold white Americans as hostages, the United States of America will go to that country and kill the hell, all of them in order to save that one day hold white Americans. So, everybody, if you have no sense of self preservation, this is the time for you to. Evil are killing you in your space. These are the people that destroy the political system. It is not full and it will destroy the political system. It is. It was the evil leader who destroyed regional government. And they are telling you they don't want to go back to regional government. You don't even have common sense. An evil citizen cannot vote and be voted for in your region when you practice regional government. But today they are contesting election in our space. But today they are everywhere, taking over our markets from proceeds of crimes. An idiot you don't want to talk. Is that how we do in England? Is that how Yoruba are behaving in France? Don't you know that our Yoruba in Germany? Can they go and kill a German in the open with stones? And the German authority will fold their hands. Can the Yoruba go to America and kill white Americans in daylight? Can't you see the behavior of the Igbo in Ghana? They were attacking immigration officials in Ghana. And Ghana deported 723 of them. But they dumped them in Yoruba land when they are not Yoruba citizens. Evil, it will be, you know, you've been saying so much, so much. The world knows me. Type a day in grandson. The world knows my name. Did you see my letter to the chairman of the foreign relations on the use of chemical weapons? You think we're making a joke? Everything we do is planned. We plan. Me, I live in England. I cannot even dare to insult an English. To insult an English citizen, their police will dump me in prison. But in broad daylight, the head of OPC in Okota, a Yoruba citizen for that matter, was attacked and killed in broad daylight by immigrants. By immigrants in Yoruba land. So where is your life saved? Idiots, stupid people. Some people will say, because my children are born in London, they are enjoying idiots. My children are enjoying London. Yoruba children. Odiate it down. My children are being discriminated the day they were born. The day they were born, they started being discriminated. They were not given their paper until they turned seven years. That is discrimination. The fact that they were born in London doesn't make them English. It doesn't even make them British. It took us seven fucking good years 
If not for the fact that I was working with a Jewish boss, I would have been out of job for seven years, unable to feed my family. Yet I have a son who was going, who was receiving medical treatment that I was paying for. The day my kids were born, they were discriminated against. The very first day they came to life through this country because they are not English. It does not mean that the English are racist. They are not racist. The English practice self-preservation. Stupid people. You accuse a man of snatching ballot paper. You arrested him live and direct. You want to hand him over to the authority. Then you kill that man in Yoruba land. A Yoruba citizen, summarily murdered by immigrant in Yoruba land. Yoruba, you are weak-minded. Try that with English in London. Go to Peckham. Go and kill an English. All of you Yoruba who are in Peckham, they will deport you. Go to Peckham and kill an English. Go to America and kill white America. Hopeless, horrible people. Folks, you continue to love and like this because of these animals called Igbo. Igbo, I'm giving you this information. The game has changed, but you don't know. Do you see that? Tinobu said, yeah, we will monitor your election in Igbo dominated area. Because we know that you have never supported the political interests of the Yoruba nation. We are going to kill you. Call the UN. We are going to remind the UN that for 53 years, the Yoruba nation has been asking for one thing a return to regional government. Why are you refusing a return to regional government? I'm asking you, Igbo. You want to have the same rights as Yoruba in Yoruba now? Why do I have to come to England with visa? Why do I have to pay for the regularization of my state? Do you know how much it costs me to regularize my state in England every time that my paper expires? Why do I have to go through that process? Am I not a woman being like English? Why is it that I don't have the same right and privileges as English in England? Why is it that I'm suffering in England? It is because this is not my ancestral home. Yoruba land belongs to Yoruba, but it does not belong to Igbo. Forget about your fucking fake one Nigeria. When we established Nigeria in 1966, it was three Nigerians, not one. It was the Western region led by Yoruba, the Eastern region led by the Igbo, and the Northern region led by Awusa Fulani. We were three, not one Nigeria. So don't give us that fucking bullshit. You will talk about one Nigeria if the English can allow my entire family to come and live in England without paying for visa, without applying for visa. Then you can talk about one Nigeria. Idiot people. A Yoruba leader of our security was executed in daylight. Stupid people saying that he's, he's not dead. He's in the hospitals. You are sorted a man. Let us do it and show it live. Let me go and assault an English tomorrow. Broad daylight with other Yorubas. And we will go to Peckham and fucking beat up an English. All of us will be dumped in Yoruba land the next minute, believe you me. We will be rounded up and dumped in Yoruba land. Foreigners in Yoruba are assaulting Yoruba and you can't do anything. And that stupid OPC is saying he's not one of their members. I've already written a stinker to them. They're fucking stupid. They need to change their orientation, idiots. Do I, do I have the same right with English in England? Let me go and insult, just, it's not assault. Let me go to the public tomorrow and insult an English and call him Wanka. For that singular insult, the police will arrest me and dump me in prison. And they will deport me. Because I'm not English. Horrible people. You are allowing foreigners to come and dominate you in your space. Fulani dominate your political space. People dominate your economic space. Stupid people. Is that how we are dominating the Hausa plan in their land? Is that how we are dominating the evil in their land? We saw the video. How many people have been arrested? We saw the evil assaulting this guy, using huge stone to kill this guy. The videos are there. The police are not working on the video because it is you are slaves. You are slaves. When I was young, 15 years old, fighting for June 12th, my mother was arrested several times. Police will knock on our door. They are coming to pick my mom. Because she was the president of Nubife, Bankers Association. And she's always calling out strike. So they go and arrest and dump her herself. Who were the police coming to our house? Fucking foreigners. Fulani and Igbo. Arresting a Yoruba woman. In Yoruba land. 
fucking, you don't understand what is slavery and colonization. Let me go and do that shit to English in England. You will see me in Muritala tomorrow. Stupid people. That was the first brutal experience that I experienced. In Yoruba land, we cannot even police our home community. I, I keep saying that Yoruba is an illiterate society, you know. I keep saying that, Ibo, I'm going to fucking kill you. You don't know me. <laughs> when the English assaulted me and dumped me in custody, when I came out, I fucking beat two English in Yoruba land. Fucking two. You think I don't have a state of mind? You don't know how my state of mind is working. We will revenge for every atrocity you, Igbo, have done against the Yoruba. You, you, know, you know why Ari I, 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 I came to meet me? Did you watch my video? You know, Meta? You know, Meta Hitoshi? I reminded Ari Onokakanfu that the first modern Ari Onokakanfu, Akintola, was killed by the Igbo on the 15th of January 1966. The first modern Ari Onokakanfu, he was killed by the Igbo. The second modern area on Okaka and Fuabiola was killed by the Fulani in 1998. And I said to him, if we do not revenge, he will be killed also. We met and we discussed. Ibo, we would deal with you. So folks, kindly love and like this. I don't know if they are, you understand, if they are coming there. There's so many of them. And we have to do something to this shit Facebook that always block my page. Okay, I think I'll have to I have to remove them, folks. I have to remove a lot a lot of evil. I have to remove a lot of people who are here. Yeah, let me block them. Yeah, I'm blocking them now. Yeah, I'm blocking a lot of them now, folks. Thank you for liking it. Thank you. We are going to kill you, Igbo. We will waste you like animals. You'll see. Yeah, I get you. If it is not so clear, it might not be so clear. But it's good that you are getting the message. That is what is wrong. So, those of you on uh, YouTube, can you love and like this because of the Igbo so that they don't flag us? You understand? Yeah. Yeah, I'm blocking them now. I'm blocking them. I'm blocking all of them. So they can't see us. So I'm blocking a lot of them. Thank you guys for that. So that is it. So uh, OPC have, have, have asked them to withdraw the statement they issue. Ah, you understand? They will withdraw it. We will kill you, Igbo. I'm in London. Go and come and tell the police. <laughs> the police in London and the government in London will tell me why they have to discriminate against me in England. They will tell me why they have to discriminate against my children. I've always been saying that I don't want to live in England. It's a shit hell. You understand? I'm so brilliant. I shouldn't be living in England. Because it's wasting my brain power. You understand? That's why we wrote to the CIA, pleading with the CIA to give me security. You will see me in Nigeria. And I will only be in Yoruba land. We will kill you, Igbo. There's no contest about that. It's very simple. There is no one Nigeria. Prior to independence, it was three Nigeria. After independence, it was three Nigeria. But there was a proviso in the constitution of Nigeria that the three regions must give the minority in their respective region, their home region. That was why the Yoruba said the Edo people, Urobo people, and Western Egypt should become a region of their own because they are not Yoruba. That was what we agreed to. We did not agree to the Hebrew coming around to come into our space unregulated. America is richer than Yoruba million times. Why are they building war? Why is it that America is asking people to come to their country through visa. Why must Igbo come into Yoruba space unregulated? England is so small, but richer than the Yoruba nation. But it's not allowing people to move. Yes. The English voted for Brexit because they are fed up of free movement of non-English into their space. They were fed up. Yeah. 
I'm blocking them for door because the English voted for Brexit because they don't want foreigners to come into their space anymore. We agreed to regional government. We had our own constitution. Igbo, you had your constitution. Aousa Flani had their own constitution. We all agreed that the minority in our region must be given their own region. But you, Igbo, destroyed the system. We are saying to you that you cannot come into our space. We will kill you. You see this message? I told you the awareness is growing. I know one thing. We are not IPOC idiots that are using propaganda. We do research and we give you the evidence. I told you, see the statement. You see, I am not Tinubu. Tinubu is, is extremely powerful man. Eh? He's very wealthy and powerful. Look at the statement. We will be monitoring an election in Igbo dominated India. I don't think you know the connotation. You don't know the importance of that statement. Your death warrant has been signed, Igbo. You will leave your land. That is it. You should be paying for residence car. We pay it in England. We pay so much money. When I renew my paper, when I renew my children uh, uh, paper before we had our British passport, we were paying so much money. We were paying so much money. You must pay your way in your balance. You will pay. Horrible people. That is it. There is no one Nigeria. Anything. They are here. The evil are here. There will be revenge. There will be vengeance for the man you kill. You think your grandson is a Christian, right? Or oh, I'm a Muslim. I'm an Orishadian. And we speak the truth. And we are very, very ruthless people. Because we defend your civilization. We defend your civilization. You cannot come into our space and kill a Yoruba citizen in broad daylight. And there will not be consequences. Head will roll. You see, I told you, the, I've been saying things, I've been saying things. Did you see the action that are coming up? Yeah, did you see? You come into our space, you don't vote for us. This is what Tinubu told you. We pay your children's school fees. Their neko fees, we don't discriminate, we pay for Igbo. We pay for Igbo YH fees, we pay for your jam fees, your children are attending our university, you are using our health care, you come and do business in your land and sell your wares in order to make profit. But every time election is called, you vote for Fulani. I hear him about Jelly Urbani. Horrible people. You vote for Fulani. You will live in Fulani and you go back to your space. America is so wealthy than Yoruba nation. People cannot go to America without paying. Do you know how many Yoruba that have paid visa fee for visiting, for school, for health care, for tourism? Visa fees we pay to France, we pay to Germany, we pay to England, we pay to America, we pay visa fees to Canada, to Australia. Less than 10% of Yoruba are granted this visa. So these countries will just take our money to develop their space. We are not saying to the Igbo, we want to go back to regional government. And for you, Igbo, you cannot come into our space without paying into the system. You're going to get to pay. How are we going to charge you? We will charge you residence card. Look, I've lived so much in England that I understand how they work. When they formulate a policy that people should pay a particular fee for a particular service, they will also formulate another policy that those who cannot pay should be given for free. Yeah. We are going to legislate that everybody in Yoruba land must pay 10,000 Naira every month as residence card to know the number of people. And we will also formulate another policy that those who cannot pay will be given for free. To qualify, you will only be, you will only be Yoruba. So if you are Igbo, you can't pay that 10,000, you go back to Igbo land. By the time we charge you 10,000 or 50,000 or 100,000, you will learn how to go back to your home, fucking erosion, ravage, Igbo land. You are killing Yoruba in our space. Head will roll. You understand? Head will roll. Those who say head will not roll. Follow me to Pekka. Let me go and fucking beat up an English idiot. That is the day I will live in this country for the last time. I will be deported straight away. You see that girl who went to join ISIS? She said she wants to come back to England. The English told her that, no, you are from Bangladesh. That was where your parents came originally. If my students should do any fucking stupid shit in England, that is when the English will remind them that when you were born, you were never British. 
you were not even English. You were Yoruba. You took your ancestry from your father. So they would dump my children in Yoruba land. Forget that they were born in England. Idiot. Why is President Trump saying that the lady who went to join ISIS will never come back to America? It is because she's not English. Uh, she's not white. It is that simple. So if you are not Yoruba, in Yoruba land, you do not have equal rights and privileges as Yoruba. I don't have equal rights and privileges with English. But children don't have equal rights and privileges as English. In England, stupid people, it's not our own space. A Yoruba citizen was assaulted in daylight, killed. Head will roll, you hero. You just don't forget, you know you've not voted now. All your, all your electoral ballot paper will burn them because we won't allow you to vote for people we don't like. If you want to vote for PDP, go back to Igbo land and vote for PDP. Or you move to our Safra in space. Olori Buluku people. Folks, I'm blocking them seriously. I'm fucking blocking the evil. They're crying. They block my page. They block my profile. Every time they're responsible. Let us quickly move away. So do, do you understand what I said? Under regional government, there was what is called Yoruba Constitution. In our constitution, it was enshrined in the Yoruba Constitution that if you are not Yoruba, you cannot vote and be voted for. For you to vote and be voted for as a non-Yoruba citizen living in Yoruba land, you must present 12 years tax clearance certificate and you must have lived in Yoruba land for 15 years. Look, folks, that is disenfranchisement. We can stop the Igbo from voting. If our law says present 12 years tax clearance certificate, who are going to who is going to issue that certificate? Is it not Yoruba? And if an Igbo say I want to contest for an election, we can decide not to issue him the tax clearance certificate, even if he has paid for 12 years. It's a simple policy that will stop the Igbo from voting in Yoruba land. But because they are so stupid, they don't want to go back to regional government, they want this unity system. That's why we have to go and burn their ballot paper. And then you attack our home in our own soil. Rather than you to hand him over to the authority, you will pay Igbo. He will kill you. Do you know how many Yoruba that English killed in 1851? Do you know how many Yoruba that they killed? You think we are forgotten? You think we don't want to revenge? Do you know how many Yoruba that were killed by you, Igbo, and Fulani in 19, between 1963 and 1964? Rather, between 1962 and 1964, 14,528 Yoruba. What was their offense? They protested against the state of emergency and against the incarceration of our leader, Awolowo. You killed 14,528 Yoruba. You think we forgot it? This is a generation that is reawakening. Between 1993 and 1998, during June 12 crisis, when MK Wabiola, a Yoruba citizen, won an election, you, Igbo, and Fulani, you are not the election. Do you know how many people you killed? 16,000 Yoruba children, women, and men. We would take our own pound of flesh. Believe you me, this is a new generation. We are so ruthless and so determined in our soul. You murder a Yoruba citizen in broad daylight, you will pay for the consequences of your action. You're telling me the man is not dead, idiot. For you to assault that man, let us prove this wrong. Let me and my friends who are Yoruba, let us go and assault an English the same way you assaulted that Yoruba man yesterday. Let us go to Pekka. That is the heartland of Yoruba in England. Let us go there and fucking beat up an English. That same day, the English police will come, round up every single Yoruba they can find, and they will put us inside a plane and dump us in Lagos. Because England is their space. Yoruba land belongs to Yoruba. Olori Buruku, there's nothing like one Nigeria. Before independence in 1960, it was three Nigeria. And there was a professor that it must be made level Nigerians. The records are there. Folks, let me remind you this. We negotiated for the constitution for three years, 1957, 58, and 59. So we all agreed to that constitution in 1959. That constitution became operational on the 1st of October, 1960. You see, a lot of people don't read. And I don't blame you because you are busy 
We're raising children, working. And some of us are doing the research. That's why we are think that. You understand? So this is the reality. In that 1959 constitution that became operational on the 1st of October 1960, there was a proviso. I said to you that when I was young, when I first read that word proviso, I had no clue about it. I had to go to my mom. I said, mom, what is the meaning of the proviso? These are conditions. So the condition that was in that constitution was that the three regions must give the minority in their respective region their own separate region. So Awolowo in 1961, April, he then moved the motion. That was six months after the constitution of Nigeria became operational. Awolowo said that the Benin, the Urobo, and the Western region in Yoruba Western region must be made a region. Paolo then said that the Eastern Ijo, the Ogoni, must be made another region. He then said that every Ibibu and Ogoja must be given their whole region, in the Eastern region. And then Paolo said in the Northern region, the Kanuri must be given their whole region, the Nupe must be given their whole region, and the Thief must be given their whole region, and Aousa Plani must have their own separate region. So the condition in the constitution of Nigeria that was negotiated was that by night after 1960, the three regions must be made 11 regions. That was it. We agreed to all of this in the constitution. But the evil and full like said, no, they don't want that anymore. Something that we sat down for three years to agree on. But you evil and full said no. And you now say that you want to claim the same rights as Yoruba in Yoruba. Are you into budget? Do I have the same right with English in England? Do you know how I suffered in England because of the color of my skin? Do you know the discrimination that my children have been facing in the, since they were born? Because they were born to a father who is not English? English are not racist. They practice self-preservation. It is Yoruba first in Yoruba land. We don't want foreigners. Those who must live in Yoruba land, who are not Yoruba, must be the people that we want. Not anybody just coming from their fucking shit hellhole and becoming into Yoruba land. So that is it. There will be consequences for your action. Ibo, we will kill you. You've been saying several things. You say you're going to report me to Interpol. Idiot, you think Interpol doesn't know me? You say, uh, we're going to report me to the English police, English police that I have fucking hatred for. Uh, you're going to, you think I think your grandson would like to stay in England? I will never be happy and I will never be rich. I will never be wealthy if I continue to live in England. Let me come back to Yoruba and you see how happy I will be. It is just because people don't want to arrest me. That's why I'm not there. Idiot. I'm suffering in England. I am not fucking English. Hopeless people. With my level of exposure, with my education, for me to be wasting away in England. Do you think English are racist? Fucking good people. They practice self-preservation. They will tell you to your face. We need to defend the interests of our own children first and foremost. But you, Yoruba, hopeless, stupid Libra. You know, you folks, you know, we said to you that Hoba Sonjo is not a Yoruba citizen. We said that to you. You see the results. Look, Chilaka, I, I think I'm going to block you. I, sometimes I give you some space, but you abuse this space. I'm going to block you now. I think you're stupid. Idiot. You just come around and then write nonsense. You just come around and like I told you, I don't I don't do don't don't plead with me. Speak to your fucking stupid evil. Eh? Make evil and great. That is it. Don't try to patronize me. I don't need you. Folks, I'm still monitoring the, uh, the results in Igbo land. You know, we said to you, Igbo don't vote against sitting president. We're monitoring the results. We're going to speak about that. And then we said to the people that Obasanjo is not a Yoruba citizen. He has no respect. Obasanjo has never won his polling boots in all elections since 1999. He has just been contesting. He has never won his ward. He has never won his local government. He has never won his state. He has never won Yoruba land. He read the election in 2003 and 2007. PDP has never won a single election in Yoruba without reading. They always read. The Yoruba don't vote for them. 
So that is what happened yesterday. Uh, Obasanjo lost. He, he doesn't have credibility. You know the intention of the young Yoruba. We want to get Obasanjo and kill him. So we slide him into four. His head will dump it at the end where our law was buried. Then the remaining part, we dump one. Uh, we divide it into three. We go and dump one where Fela was buried. We dump another one where MP Abiola was buried. And the third one where Bolaide was buried. Because he has hand in their demise. Obasanjo. Yoruba don't respect him. So the top of the barn in line is security. You don't know my I'm a party. Oh, no, go. 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 He's not respected in Yoruba. And we hate him. So I said to the people, they said, oh, he was the one who made uh, Wadi president in 20. Uh, 15. I just love at people who have no. Yesterday, let's, let me tell you something. Yesterday, I'm trying to work out with my our member. We were discussing phenomenon and non minimum Non minimum phenomenon and non nonima. Phenomenon is something you can feel. You can almost touch. Nonimum is something you cannot touch. You cannot feel. So why are we talking about that? Because I'm going to give a speech about this, the behavior of the Libra who failed. Then, because I said in that meeting yesterday that, look, I queried my mother. You cannot say that all your bad. You understand? All your bad are horrible. But you are saying that your bad and bad frown. But we need to know who are these your bad. That was why we did that research. So I was telling, I remember yesterday when we were discussing this, that I came up with that research. Studying this, it was in front of Cubs. I don't know the exact name, that came up with that two concepts, phenomenon and nominal. It's very interesting. So we use the phenomenon to observe the action of the Yoruba. That was why we gave them that liberalism. The other one that we cannot see, nominal, is something that is there, but you can't see. But we can see the action of the Libra. We are able to predict their action. So that's why we are smarter than them. Conservative are always brilliant people. Libra are shit people. They are always not brilliant people. So you will see that in, in my subsequent speech. But what are we say now? We said to you that it wasn't Obasanjo who made Buhari president in 2015. It was Tinubu. Tinubu made Jonathan president twice, 2010 and 2011. But Jonathan allowed the Igbo into his government. So Tinubu shifted to Buhari. Not that he necessarily would like to make Buhari president. But he looked at the game, how he can win. For you to be president of Nigeria, you must win two out of the three major epigrams. You know the three major epigrams. So when people say, ah, Obasanjo made Buhari president, it wasn't Obasanjo or Tinubu did it. We said to people, look at what happened yesterday. Obasanjo is not recognized in Yoruba land. Obasanjo, we would like to kill him. Believe you me. I just pity his children. Because the hatred that we have for Obasanjo will be passed on to his children. And these guys are innocent. But unfortunately for them, they are not coming out to denounce the irresponsible act of their father. Obasan is not recognized. He has never won an election in his polling vote because we don't like it. His people that are in this polling vote, they don't even like it. It's evil. He brought in Shagali. He brought in Yaradua. He has always been projecting the interests of the Fulan. That was why he was supporting Atiku. The exact candidate of Obasanjo to be president is Sule Lamido. You remember when I made a video about him, they threatened me. They now said in their mind that, oh, Omo Ade Instagram, so you will shine you. They said they are going to kill me. I said to them that, look, I'm willing to challenge you. I'm looking for drone. Put all the Yorisha in Obasanjo's library. Tell him to sit down there and just give us drone. We fire two shots. He will die. But we will go in that subject. When Obasanjo was ruling Nigeria, he wasn't even as old as we are. And he doesn't even have common sense. Then and now. He was shamed yesterday. So I said to the Libra before that election that you use emotion, we use logic. They told us that they are more in your And I said, you are lying. You Libra lives in the city. You have half big education. You, have, you might have been to university. You might have master's degree. Some of you have PhD. But all your education are half dead because you don't get the concept of self-preservation. Yoruba will open their stupid mind and say that they are, they are the most educated in Nigeria. 
and they will now push it to the world and say we are the most educated in Africa. Idiot. Are we as educated as white Caucasians, Americans? White Americans? Are we as educated as them? No. Look at their university. Are we as educated as the English? No. But try shit with English, they will kill you. Try nonsense with white Americans, they will kill you. But you're about them to be well educated. Idiots. Somebody will come into your space and kill you. You won't kill them back in return. You are not educated. You are fucking stupid. So that was what happened. That was what happened to me. Why? You see, let us talk about this Libra. Now, I want to talk about this guy. And I think some of you know him. He's, he's stupid, you know. My room, that guy, my room, is, is an illiterate. My room is not intelligent. It's not smart educationally. A free star. He cannot sit down to write a policy. He doesn't even know what his policy. He doesn't understand debt management. That's why he makes spurious allegations against him. You know what I'm talking about, the idiot? He made a video. He said that he had evidence that I collected money from Tinubu. That is the stupid thing the idiot said. Unfortunately, I don't want to attack his party, Green Party, because there are some individuals. Thank you so much for watching Bookie O TV. Do not forget to comment below, share this video, and click on that subscribe button. And remember to tap the notification bell so you will be notified anytime we upload a new video onto YouTube. Until I come your way again, stay beautifully blessed.